Hi, Phil Aston here from Nasbini Magazine with another Record Store Day preview video for 2024. And the first video looked at releases from the Demon Music Group. This time it's cooking vinyl. And the first one of the four releases I'm going to look at is Change Giver by Shed7. Um, this is a re-recording of their first album and it says here at the bottom of the credits, we poured our hearts into re-recording these songs, rediscovering the magic of the songs that started it all. It's been a fantastic journey and we've fallen in love with them all over again and obviously they hope we enjoy the songs as much as they enjoyed redoing them. And I'll be honest and say that of all the Shed 7 albums that I've heard and got myself, this is sitting at the top. Um, I think the reimagination, the reworkings of these songs makes them sound really fresh, um, just as relevant and absolutely lovely, to be honest. Me and Sue really, really enjoyed this. There's only two and a half thousand of these being pressed. Okay, so this is limited and uh, I'm presuming that's worldwide. Um, the album itself is on black and white vinyl. I'm staying with Pop for the next one and it's a band that I've featured before. Um, it's Deacon Blue and this is a new album. It's a re-recording of contains like acoustic versions of their of their most popular live songs of some of their hits and also a couple of cover versions as well. There's not much information on this album um, apart from the song credits and who took the photographs. There's no anything about the band members or anything how it was recorded. The reason I say that is it sounds live. It sounds like it was done. They were all together. Um, it doesn't sound like they were dialing it in from different parts of the world. Um, and it has a live feel. Um, it really does. It's, uh, if, I, if I say things like it's not overproduced, some of you are thinking, mm, is, it, is it kind of like rushed through? No. But it sounds like it was done specifically for Record Store Day. Um, the cover versions, which actually um, I really, really like, are Dancing in the Dark, which is a very um, clever ver uh, reworking of Bruce Springsteen's song and Forever Young by Bob Dylan but Chocolate Girl's on here she'll understand Queen of the New Year etc and this is on white vinyl so there's there's the pop um, contingent next is a kind of ambient chill out contingent and this is the orb um and I really, really like this because I didn't know what to expect. Um, I got into the all because of Dave Gilmore doing that flyby, drive-by guitar noodling he did over their album a few years ago. Um, this is new and rare remixes. Um, and the songs are like five minutes, four minutes, seven minutes, five, uh, 12, 10. And we're talking a groove here. And in fact, on the first side, there are four songs but they all kind of blend in one from the other. There's like voice samples, sound effects. Um, it's a bit like uh, those of you who remember Enigma, but without the monks, if that, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I really, really enjoyed this. It's, um, it isn't music to zone out to, it's, it's around you. I've, I've, I've always liked this. I'm a massive Tangerine Dream fan. This isn't Tangerine Dream, but it's, it's related. It, it, it's it's related it's music in fact who's that other band that i really champion on this channel send delica it's part of that family you know it's you could say it's it's four and a half miles down the road from hawkwind um but it's but they still would know about each other if the radar was out um what color is this on this is very green um it's that green um but it's I really, really liked it. So that is the orb, and um, and that was be my out of this set, my second favourite. And I've already played this a lot. The next one is my favourite, and I didn't know what to expect from this because I'm very cynical about things that say working progress um, demo things of a classic album. I also think, mm, especially if it's going to be a standalone release, is it going to be something I play once and that's it? This is the Alan Parsons project. 
Now this one feels weighty because it's on 180 gram vinyl and it is the Pyramid Working Progress album, um, 180 gram heavyweight orange vinyl, um, contains demo, rough mixes, early songwriting diaries, versions of tracks on the Pyramid album. And it includes an insert, which is just an insert like this, which tells you about the actual tracks from Alan Parsons. And also Sally Wolfson also gives a little bit of commentary as well behind the track. So Voyager, a glimpse of the early stages, what goes up and little voices, something that was never used. The Eagle Will Rise Again, a rough mix featuring backing vocals. One More River, again, um, an insight in what's going on. A rough mix of Can't Take It With You, In The Lap Of The Gods is a demo, and that's very different, but it does stand up on its own because without it, all the orchestrations have, have been taken out and it just sounds unplugged and pure. Um, Pyromania, um, this is a songwriting diary from Eric. Um, it's very an early stage of the track and Hyper Gamma Spaces is again a re very, very different to the main one. And then Shallow, Shadow of a Lonely Man. Um, this is experimental demo vocal and it says here, this is Alan talking. I think Eric would have uh, would have made a good commercial, he said it would have made good commercial just to have me sing on a track. But it was clearly the right decision to get John Miles to sing it. And that's kind of Alan saying, you know, it, it didn't really work with him. I disagree. Um, I, I, I do disagree. I think I think Alan Parsons' voice on this really adds to it. And in fact, though there were certain songs that that really did make it worthwhile. Now, orange vinyl, there you go. So that's what it looks like. Now, I just want to pull in something else because is this a good place to start, for instance, if you're into Alan Parsons? And I know a lot of people out there are asking me lots of questions about people at Alan Parsons. And I'd say, no, it isn't. But it depends. This is the this is the original album pyramid from 1978, um, and oh, just absolutely wonderful. It just takes me back to those times. This is the kind of second disc. If this was a deluxe edition with a second disc, that would be it. So it is the entire pyramid album, track by track, in demo form. OK, um, I mean, I've got you can even see it in the background here. This is from this particular one. Also, Cooking Vinyl was the half mastered series box set as well. Now, just before I move on, I know I, I said this in my other video um, and I know the labels called Cooking Vinyl. All of these labels are just as committed to the CD format as they are vinyl. But obviously for Record Store Day, a lot of these things about coloured vinyl, different pressing the things, you know, that's what it's about. Um, but cooking vinyl also, if I find this, did this towards the end of last year, just to reference point, which is Billy Bragg's career defining CD box set, um, which was one of my box sets of the year. So absolutely fantastic stuff. Now, whether, I don't know, do I, whether you can imagine this being turned into a two CD or deluxe edition uh, CD version with a 5.1 Dolby Atmos extra disc as well, I don't know. So if you're an Alan Parsons fan, and this is one of your favorite albums, or you're just an Alan Parsons fan, then yes, I think there is much to enjoy here and you will want to have it in your collection. Um, if, you're, if you don't know much about Alan Parsons at all, then it's probably not gonna be where you'd want to start because you need to hear this. You need to hear this in for context, really. You really do. But well done to Cooking Vinyl for, and Alan Parsons for allowing this to surface um, because there, as I said, there are two tracks in particular if I put that, there's two, two tracks in particular that I really felt made it worthwhile and it was In the Lap of the Gods Part 1 and The Shadow of a Lonely Man. So that's four releases from Cooking Vinyl Records and um, 
enjoy Record Store Day. I shall also be looking for the Ian Hunter Defiance Part 2 album, which I hopefully I can get the double if, if possible. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Please take care. Keep spinning those discs, whatever that's CD or vinyl. And I shall see you all very, very soon.